Ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight, MVP and Carmelo Hayes, members of the Hurt Business, has arrived in the arena, but then were met with the Chief Content Officer, Triple H. Triple H letting both MVP and Carmelo Hayes know that someone has issued a challenge and they will confront that superstar later on tonight. Who is it going to be? We'll find out as Carmelo Hayes attracts the WWE Universe. As we're only days away from WWE Backlash in Puerto Rico, welcome everyone live to Monday Night Raw. As we kick off the show with a debut matchup, as Mustafa Ali already in the ring, taking on the ring general. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Here comes the former WWE United Kingdom Champion in Gunther, the ring general who held the United Kingdom title for I believe almost 900 days and no doubt about it, a dominant competitor over overseas in the United Kingdom, in Europe, but now looking to do the same thing here in North America as Gunther makes his raw debut live tonight. No doubt about it, the WWE Raw and SmackDown. They're, gonna, they're going to look vastly different when the WWE draft takes place following Backlash next week. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, Gunther and Mustafa Ali one on one to kick the show off. Also, we're going to hear from the WWE Champion Randy Orton later on tonight. As the bell is rung, and here we go. It's Ollie right at the gate with a hurricane. Rana takes down Gunther. Gunther, a man, it's all about. Oh my god! All about power, speed. Sometimes agility will come into play when necessary for Gunther. As Gunther, Ripcord Larry, it takes down Ollie. And now, oh, the ring general looking to want to end it early. Doing damage to Ollie, but look at Ollie able to come back with a tilt the world to a DDT. And, oh, got caught with an elbow and a double leg -like takedown. It's Gunther now looking to go to work into the cover. Hook the outside leg. And Ollie still within the match. Still to come later on with Carmelo Hayes and MVP will address the WWE Universe. Carmelo Hayes joining the Hurt Business officially last episode on Raw or two weeks ago rather. As a wait a minute, look at Gunther. Powerbomb up to the outside. God almighty. No doubt all he's gonna feel that one. And Gunther again. Oh no. Tiger Bomb. Oh my goodness. Spine, no doubt damaged, but all oh, they're gonna continue fight here with Gunther. Able to break the block of Ali with those shots, but now Ali fighting back here. Got him in position, planted him with inverted DDT, and now Ali able to send Gunther back in the ring. This is Gunther's raw debut here tonight, one on one. We saw his. Oh, members of the Imperium and uh, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci compete on Raw two weeks ago. When it went up against the Street Profits is now, wait a minute, cover. Hook of the leg, could it be enough? And no, shoulder up at two. Gunther can't believe it. Gunther underestimating the heart that all he possesses. Trying to go for a power slam, look at Ollie! Able to counter an inverted DDT! 
And now all doing to try to capitalize, but Gunther up to his feet. And now Gunther got with a, with a cross face. Cross face applied. But Ali able to find a way to counter. Kick to the red section. Ali with a double swinging neck breaker. Gunther's all about domination. All about winning. All about showing and proving why the mat is sacred to him. But Ali is going to show why he has a lot of heart. That he cannot be denied. They will not be denied. Ali thinking about going for that roll through uh, into like a face buster or a neck breaker. But Gunther got him to his feet real quick. Took him down with that elbow. And now Ali on the outside. And you know Gunther's more about old school wrestling. Very tactical inside the ring. Look at this. Again, submission applied. Cross face by the hands of Gunther. But Ali again able to turn and shift his body around to get out of that hold. And now Gunther playing him with a neck breaker. Things are not looking good for the ring general in his debut. But Ali unable to get the job done there. Shoulder up at one, says Gunther. And oh! Shot to the jaw, I believe. As Ali sets him off the ropes. Swinging neck breaker. Now Ali measuring his man here. But look at oh Gunther. Nice counter. And that's why he's the ring general. He counted Ali and caught him with a big boot. And now Gunther are gonna try to put him away here. Oh elbow to the face and the knee. The elbow, then the knee. Ali up top. 450! 450 Kid X onto Gunther for the win, spoiling his debut when Gunther kicks. Gunther kicks out of two, match rolls on. Could you imagine an upset by Ali to get a massive win over Gunther, especially in his debut cover? Hook of the leg. That's what Ali's trying to go for here. He's trying to shock the world. He's trying to shock everyone. And he should not be underestimated. Oh, but Gunther with a double leg takedown. He's going to show why he is former champion for 900 plus days. Gunther stacks him high up the power bomb. And Ali able to kick. Able to stay alive. You see how Gunther just went over the steps? Wants to get his hands up. Ali that path. Not looking to let him breathe like a like a shark smelling blood for the first time. Looking to jump on the attack here. As Gunther drives the knee right to the heart of Ali. And now Gunther, oh my! Gord Buster planning him gut first onto the floor. Things are not looking good. Wicked chop, and again, Ali going to work here. Or, or rather, Gunther. Gunther going to work on Ali. And now Gunther back in the ring by the count of seven. We're going to take a count out win. I don't blame him. Count of eight. This could be it. Imperium. Imperium zone. Gunther going to win it. Count of nine. Ali able to get back in the ring. Realize that he could have lost the match there. A normal man would have walked away and accept the loss. But Ali is going to continue fighting here. Not looking to back down to Gunther. Again, swinging neck breaker. It's Ali again trying to get in it. He got Gunther grounded. Could that be? Look at the leg. After doing some damage to the legs. And Gunther still kicks at two. Still able to fight. It's going to take a lot more than that to put away Gunther. But wait a minute, Gunther now. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold locked in. He got the sleeper hold locked in on Ali. Ali scrambling. Ali scratching and clawing. He's trying to find a way out. But Gunther got it in deep. Got a body scissors all over Ali. Ali still trying to fight. Elbows to the 
to the to the ribs. Only with a pin. Only with a pin. Oh, but Gunther. And now look at Ali. Turn it up. DDT. Scrambles into the cover of the DDT. On the Gunther. Oh, but Gunther kicks a two. Man. Gunther really kicked out the two. I mean, all he thought, he felt that he had him there. And oh! All he too busy taunting Gunther. Very quick. Just took out Ali. And oh! This match back and forth here on Monday Night Raw. As Ali tried to send Gunther into the ring, didn't work. And now, oh! What a freaking starter on the outside, says Ali. And again, Ali sending it back in the ring. Mustafa Ali looking to try to get a big win over Gunther here. Getting back in the ring, Gunther slide in and out the ring. And I got it from behind. Inverted DDT. Oh! Super kick! By Ali, down goes Gunther. This could be it. 450. Splash. Got him here. Minimal press. Upset. And Gunther says no. Gunther not looking to die. Gunther going to continue fighting. Ali. Oh, got caught. Ali got caught with a spy buster by Gunther. I'm good to now. Oh my God! What a power bomb! Hook in the outside leg. And Oli still continues to fight. Oh, seen it sent on by Gunther. That's the crowd showing respects to both men. Gunther got him up. Gunther got something in mind. Oh. Face first, off the turnbuckle, snake eyes, and again, Ali not looking to say die. Gunther can't believe it. Gunther's thinking, what do I gotta do to put this man away? Oh. Swinging neck breaker there. Doing more damage, inflicting more punishment on a man who won't give up, a man who has a lot of heart within him, and Ali, Ali with a counter, form in the face, and now Ali now, roll through, neck breaker, that time connected, neck breaker, got him down, referee, now in position. Oh, and Gunther got the shoulder up. I believe the referee might have took too much time there to get in position, that might have cost Ali, who knows. It's Gunther back in the ring. Ali trying to be on the attack. Oh no, Gunther got him. Gunther got him here. Power bomb. He just spiked him. Power bomb. But Ali reached the ropes. And Gunther is flabbergasted. He can't believe that he got the ropes there. Oh, but that's going to be it. Gunther now again. Super hold locked in. Super hold locked in. Ali got attacked. What a match! What a way to start Raw with Gunther! The ring general stands tall! Here's your winner, Gunther! That was his debut. Imagine what this man will do with a championship on the line. Gunther, look at the dominate Monday Night Raw. So does Bianca Belair backstage will be in action later on tonight. There's Trish Stratus. Travis wanted to give Bianca a warning. That is true. Natalia jumped ship to SmackDown. Just Stratus claims that she's back in the WWE just to prove a point that she's here. To prove that she's the one that laid the groundwork of today's women's revolution. Tension in the air between these two. No love loss between Trish and Bianca. 
as we are live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, in the Bell Center. Welcome, everyone, as tonight, here comes Seth freaking Rollins. Here comes the number one contender for the WWE Championship at Backlash. This man will meet the Viper, Randy Orton. In San Juan, Puerto Rico. For the biggest prize of our sport, the WWE Championship. I mean, Rollins is a six-time WWE Champion. The last time he held the title was when he won the championship back at SummerSlam when he cashed him in the bank. Again, Heist of the Century Part 2 against Roman Reigns. Ending Roman Reigns' is over a year championship reign. But then when there was a, a shift in universe mode, Rollins lost the championship without even being pinned for it. Even when Balor won the undisputed title months ago, still didn't get pinned for it. But at Backlash, Rollins gets a chance to win it all back again. Rollins are going to make history. They're going to do what he's done in the past at Backlash. He's beaten Roman Reigns for a championship at a Backlash Premium Live event. He, wait a minute. I was going to say he's beaten Finn Balor for a championship at Backlash. Will Randy Orton be a part of a, of a repeated history? Or Orton change the tides this time? Here comes the WWE Champion who's, I guess, heard enough of what Seth Rollins had to say moments ago. Rollins said that he was going to be the one to beat Randy Orton and Orton's title reign at Backlash, winning his seventh title. I'm sure the WWE Champion will have something to say about that. Orton has had a hell of a year in the last couple of months, no doubt. Ever since winning the NXT Royal Rumble, going on to win that championship at WrestleMania in the main event against Finn Balor. As Rollins and Orton face to face right before the match at Backlash. Randy Orton's not here for, for games, for mind games, or anything like that. Orton is serious tonight. I mean, Randy Orton's making a good point that when Rollins was champion, things had to be changed. Now that things are back to normal, Orton's the champion again. Randy Orton and Seth. They've met before, but it's been a long time. Rollins and Orton. They will meet at Backlash. Orton. Who will have a match later on tonight with J.D. McDonough. Rollins, no doubt, will have his eyes on that matchup later on. Wow. You feel the tension in the air between these two. The next premium live event in 2K23 after WrestleMania is Backlash. WWE Backlash returning as a premium live event for the first time in two years. Also, Backlash for the first time will be live in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You do not want to miss the next installment of 2K23 premium live event, Backlash. As you're back live in the Bell Center, we saw them arrive earlier tonight. Here comes MVP along with that man right there, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes has had a 
great match with Apollo Crews in his Raw debut two weeks ago. And I guess tonight, Carmelo Hayes looking to address the WWE Universe about his alignment with the Hurt Business. But we also heard from Triple H earlier tonight that there's someone that's looking to challenge Carmelo Hayes to a matchup. And we're going to find out who's that going to be exactly. I mean, Carmelo Hayes, no doubt about it, he has the looks, he has the talent to be an A star in the WWE, to be an A superstar, A champion, etc. What the? What the hell? Wait a minute! Johnny Gargano! What the hell is Gargano doing here? What an ovation for Gargano here tonight! You mean to tell me Johnny Gargano is... Is he the one? Was he the one that wanted to challenge Carmelo Hayes? One on one! And obviously MVP doesn't seem too impressed. But it's true, Johnny Gargano, former champion, NXT champion, cruiserweight champion, tag team champion. Johnny Wrestling is live on Raw. Gargano not backing down. MVP saying he's making a big mistake. Gargano saying, why don't you take a shot at me, Carmelo? Oh my God. Carmelo accepts. He's not gonna take the disrespect from Gargano. Two weeks, the Raw after the draft. That's the, that's if they're both drafted on Raw. They could be either on SmackDown or Raw competing one-on-one. -on -one. But either way, Carmelo Hayes accepts the challenge. Two weeks from tonight, whether it's Raw or SmackDown, these two will meet one-on-one. -on -one. Oh my God. Again, like I said, it could be. Will they be drafted to Raw? Will they be drafted to SmackDown? Only time will tell. Things could change. Gargano meets Hayes. Two episodes from tonight on Monday Night Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, let's get on with another match here tonight. As here comes one half of the Tag Team Champions, Chad Gable, along with this number one guy, Otis Alpha Academy. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Otis, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Chad Gable. Well, tonight, this match has a lot at stake because if if Imperium's own representative in Giovanni Vinci defeat Chad Gable here tonight, then we get a tag team title match at Backlash this coming Sunday. So we're going to find out whether Giovanni Vinci can do what Gunther did earlier tonight and get the win for Imperium. 
Will Chad Gable get the job done tonight for Alpha Academy? Will they have a 9 off at Backlash and not defend those tag team titles? Well, we're going to find out here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Just Chad Gable in the ring getting ready for one-on-one -on -one action. And his opponent representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Giovanni Vinci! Giovanni Vinci making his way towards the ring. Getting a chance to showcase his talents inside the ring. And you notice that he's going at it alone. You don't see Ludwig Kaiser by his side or even Gunther. Maybe a big opportunity not only to impress the, the WWE Universe, but to impress Gunther himself of Imperium. That he could go at it alone, he could handle himself one on one. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One on one. If Giovanni Vinci defeats Gable one on one tonight, we will get a tag team title match at Backlash in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, one on one. Plus, we're going to have a tag team match featuring all four competitors a part of their own match at Backlash. Bianca Belair will team up with Liv Morgan as. Right at the gate, drop kick there by Giovanni Vinci on the gable. Bianca Belair will team up with uh, Liv Morgan against Oscar, the Raw Women's Champion, and JC Jane coming up the scoop slam kick out of two by Gable. Tonight's all about great action. Can't wait for our main event later on. And look at this, right at the gate, Gable able to take out Vinci. Is that enough? Hook at the outside leg and the kick out of one. We saw Vinci compete in that tag match with. Ludwig Kaiser gets the Street Profits and a hell of a match to say the least. I mean, Vinci has gotten better shape and no doubt is capable of doing high flying maneuvers and can perform strength maneuvers as well. He's almost like an all around superstar. A type of superstar you would create in a video game or something. As, wait a minute. Oh my God. Back first onto the apron, the hardest part of the ring. No doubt Gable's gonna feel that one. And now Vinci gonna try to capitalize, or maybe not. Take the time to taunt there as Gable's back up to his feet. Count of three by the referee as Vinci taking his time to get back in the ring. Oh my god! Front wheel kick there by Gable. Out goes Vinci. Again, trying to take a breather, but Gable on the attack for the moment. Up on his shoulders, no counter. And a wicked right, and a no, 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 light suplex. No, no, light suplex takes down Vinci. Holy. Again, trying to work on the hand and neck there, this Gable. Wrenching the neck, but ooh, Vinci. After that right, got him up. Count of six, Vinci. Count of seven, Vinci got him hooked. Watch out! Oh, suplex on the four. Oh, but Gable, he ate that and got back up to his feet. Count of eight, both men back in the ring. And now Gable sends him off the ropes here. Got him here, Hat. Oh, full Nelson suplex. What a big dog no, kick at it, one. Holy. And now Vinci sends him off the ropes. Big kick to the face. Down goes Gable. Is that enough to get a tag title win? A tag title match, I should say, at Backlash, but not enough at all. Springboard crossbody by Vinci. But again, Gable to his feet. Kick to the gut, nonetheless. Vinci trying to be on the top of his game. Rebound, form in the face. Oh, but look at Gable. Gable got him down. Gable got him down. No. Trying to get a surprise win to Gable. Kick to the bed section. Ladies, he's up. Watch out. Oh, no. Look at, I think Vinci trying to go for that suplex power bomb. But Gable was able to land on his feet. Drop kick to the face. He barely faced Vinci. And now Gable. Oh, able to block. Oh, God. And. Oh. 
Neck cricket there by Finchie. Kicked in the midsection. And game up. Mona Light suplex. Referee getting in position too late. But a kick out of one nonetheless by Vinci. A great back and forth matchup live from Monday Night Raw in Montreal. Over 15,200 fans here tonight. Yeah. Snap suplex cover. Rope break counted. Referee was right there to call that rope break. Again, all for a shot at the tag titles. We're gonna earn it in this one-on-one -on -one match here tonight. And now, watch out. Up, suplex. No, Gable again, able to use his momentum to counter. And now, oh, able to dodge that one. Oh, what a wicked form. Truck kick connects. Gable trying to be on the top of his game here. The former 2012 Olympian going to work with all Gable. He got taken down momentarily. And Gable with a forearm. Down go oh, uh, up goes Vinci, I should say. I was going to say down goes Vinci, but Vinci got up to his feet real quick. And now they're going to take his time. Nope. We're going to meet on the outside. And again, the hip toss into a neck breaker. Combination maneuver. Got a four is Vinci. And now look at Vinci! Holy! I don't know how he was able to spring onto the top rope like that with ease, nonetheless. But launched himself on the gable. But now Gable sent it back in the ring. Vinci's got to be careful with flying around, especially with a technician like Gable. He'll find a way to counter. Look at this. Fisherman suplex. Got him bridge. Is it enough for the win? No. Not able to get the win and potentially get a day off for backlash. That is, one, that is what's on the line here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The Tiger Bomb by Gable again. It's all about Imperium getting championship gold, and then they're going to start early by going after the tag team titles. Wicked shot to the face. What is this? Get Gable some trouble. And oh! Big, big power bomb! And Gable kicks out of two! Think she can't believe it. Neither can I. Got to give Gable credit on that one. But what's Vinci going for? Oh, he's thinking DDT from the top, but Gable had the advantage to counter. But Vinci, power bomb! Suplex transition into a power bomb in midair, into the cover. Vinci gets the win. Imperium with a tag title match. At Backlash. Here is your winner. Wow. Giovanni Vinci. What a match and what a way to get a win. What a way to earn yourself a tag title match at Backlash. No doubt about it. Can Imperium walk in with the gold? We'll find out this Sunday. The next premium live event in 2K23 after WrestleMania is Backlash. WWE Backlash returning as a premium live event for the first time in two years. Also Backlash for the first time will be live in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You do not want to miss the next installment of 2K23 premium live event, Backlash. J.D. McDonough, the United States Champion, who will be in action later on tonight.
confident words there by the ace the iris ace and jd mcdonough u.s champion versus wwe champion later on tonight live on raw well ladies and gentlemen as you're back in the arena here in montreal quebec canada bianca belair making her way towards the ring you saw bianca belair and trish stratus had a confrontation earlier tonight trish stratus giving bianca a warning knowing that bianca has a title match at backlash against oscar claiming that she'll be watching as she's looking to prove to the world that she runs this division does trish stratus but right now we have this tag team match bianca belair and Liv morgan two women who will be a part of two championship matches at backlash Yes, here comes Liv Morgan. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. As Liv Morgan has the WWE Universe watch her here tonight. They're going to try to build some momentum, perhaps, as she heads into Backlash uh, at WrestleMania. She tried to cash in and su unsuccessfully cashed in the contract and lost the championship match against Asuka. Maybe tonight, Morgan get a little payback of getting a pinfall or submission victory over Asuka heading towards her championship match with JC Jane for the SmackDown Women's title. Bianca Belair earned herself this opportunity uh, against Asuka for the Raw Women's title, defeating Bayley on Raw two weeks ago. And now tonight, here comes their opponents and first. From Tampa, Florida, JC Jane. The toxic JC Jane making her way down the aisle. She earned herself this opportunity after going to war with Gigi Dolan on the recent episode of SmackDown, where they opened the show with an Extreme Rules match. They used a stop, a stop sign against one another. But in the end, JC Jane was able to kick the head off of. Gigi Dolan's shoulder and was able to get the win that night allowing herself to be a part of history being a part of a championship match could potentially win her first title here in WWE but tonight she teams up with the Empress of Tomorrow As ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Empress of Tomorrow, the dangerous Raw Women's Champion. Here comes Asuka. And from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka. For many years, Asuka has been a part of Monday Not Raw for many years. Ever since 2K17, Asuka has been a part of Raw and never went to the SmackDown brand. Maybe that could change this year. For all we know, Asuka could get drafted to SmackDown and be the SmackDown Women's Champion rather than being the Raw Women's Champion. That's the thing about the WWE Draft. We don't know who's going where. How, we don't know how it's going to be this year. Normally, we'd use that computer generator to determine where a superstar is going on a brand. But this, I think this time might be different. Only time will tell with the draft in the next episode of Raw after Backlash. The question is, will Asuka be the Raw Women's Champion coming out, coming out of Backlash? That's the only time we'll get that question answered, which will be this Sunday as this match begins here. Bianca Belair and JC Jane kick this match off for the respective teams as Liga Belair here. Got a with a Gorilla Press, but JC Jane able to take advantage of uh, the referee getting distracted almost. Cover! I don't know, referee took too much time to get in position. JC Jane could have got an easy win over Bianca over there, but not the case. Oh, they would have run through that elbow attempt and blocked the spear, I think, from 
Belair to JC Jane. And now dragging Belair across the ring here. And oh! Nice truck kick there by the EST. And now Belair now. Tag. Here comes Liv Morgan. I mean, this is the first time these two are meeting inside the ring. And it's getting a preview of what's to come at Backlash this Sunday. Her Frankenstein there by Liv. And then immediately makes the tag back to Bianca. DC Jane in a bad spot here. As, oh, standing moonsault. Will that be enough? Hook of the leg for the tag team win in Oscar. Got in there for insurance reasons. So the... Hope to God that JC kicked down. She did. But this match rolls on. There's Belair with the strikes all over JC. Sends her over the top, hanging on. And tang her up to dry on the top rope. And now e and now immediately makes a tag. There comes Morgan. And oh Morgan trying to get a shot in on Oscar, but Oscar saw it coming. And now Oscar taunting Morgan as Morgan trying to get through the referee. And now Morgan again with that cheap shot and hanging Oscar off the drive. And now it's Morgan and oh my god, not GC chin up to the announce table. Morgan wants to fight everybody. And oh! Got sent to the announce table. And now Morgan got her hands on JC. And then an STO to follow. Count of five by the referee as Morgan just chucking JC around ringside. And I got back in the ring by the count of six. And the tag made the EST in Bel Air. Count of eight. JC Jane down for the count. Perhaps. Able to get back in by the count of nine. Oh! You saw Bel Air. I think she tried to go for a kick. And then Morgan with that cheap shot. Iris Swift, shoulder tackle. He just bum rushed through JC Jane there. And I got her in the corner. Ooh, elbow. Jane and Bell are now. Sends her up the ropes. And oh, tilt the world, power slam. JC Jane. And now trying to get Oscar in the fray. Oscar with a cheap shot. Turn about fair play to say the least there. Elbow after elbow. Right to the gut. Oh, pump kick. Jane with that pump kick. And again, trying to contain and remain in control here. Goes into the cover. We're going to get a win over the EST. Do you really hear momentum? But Bellard kicks out of two. Can JC Jane and Oscar keep continuing the momentum in this tag team match on Raw? After WWE Backlash, it is WWE Draft for both Raw and SmackDown brands will have a huge shakeup. No more confusion. We're going to find out who's going to be on Raw, who's going to be on SmackDown. Find out on the WWE Draft after WWE Backlash on Monday Night Raw. Back live on Monday Night Raw in this tag team match is Bianca Belair teaming up with Liv Morgan against Asuka and JC Jane cover and JC got the ropes there. JC Chain was able to get the bottom rope. It's kind of been a, I would say, a mixed bag to say the least in this match. Even during the break, it was back and forth to say the least. And now, kick to the bit section. Lamar Morgan! Double knees! But Oscar right there to break it up. But Bella with a bulldog! And now, oh, Morgan trying to go after Oscar, but Oscar got out of dodge. Oscar got out of dodge there. And now a shot to the face. And now Liv, ooh, hang her up the dry. 
As you see JC Jane taunting. Morgan trying to capitalize. Elbows to the gut. And now look at this. Oh, took her down. Just slamming the skull to the floor for the neck breaking there by JC Jane. Count of four by the referee in this tag team match. Count of five. JC Jane just taunting the crowd there. Trying to get underneath the Montreal faithful. Under the uh, get under the skin there. And now Morgan sets her off the ropes. Drops a hold. And now it's Morgan taunting JC. Playing some mind games. And now oh! Slamming a skull into the mat. Now Liv Morgan taunting, but Oscar got the tag. Oscar got the tag, and now it's Oscar. Not looking to taunt, not looking to play around. Dragon screw. And now Oscar, oh, takes out Belair as well. And Oscar, oh, looking to go after Liv here. Oh, maybe the block. And now, oh wait, counter, counter, oh! Morgan trying to go for the Hurricane Rana, but Oscar countered, putting her face first. Kick to the midsection. Count of four. Power bomb. Does Oscar, but Morgan this time counters. Count of five. But the Raw Women's Champion putting up a fight against Liv here. Hemlock suplex. Able to block. Got a by the referee, Oscar. Oh, beating the hell of a live on the outside. Count of nine. Can she get back in it? Count of ten. Wow. Oscar Here even tagged in Chasey Jane. Chasey Jane and Oscar. Oscar beat the hell of a live Morgan, taking a count out win. I mean, a win to win in, in Universe World, but for the love of God. Oscar went just took it a bit further there. But will that be the scene of Backlash? Will JC Jane get the win over Liv Morgan? Will Oscar retain her title at Backlash? So many questions will be answered this Sunday on at the premium live event. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. On the next episode of Raw, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to wait no more. The WWE Draft. We will find out who will have their new or old homes starting next week on the draft. Also, the, coming up next is our main event champion versus champion. United States champion Jada McDonough meets the Viper, the WWE champion, Randy Orton. Live, right now on Raw. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. With TV time remaining, here's our main event champion versus champion. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, the WWE. United States Champion, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough, a two-time United States Champion, won his first title from Gulak at on the first Raw of 2K23, then went on to lose the championship to Cody Rhodes two weeks later. Won the title back at WrestleMania, but at Backlash, he will defend that championship in a 20-minute Iron Man match. Anything goes. No disqualification, no countouts, false cut anywhere. Anything you want to do, all goes down in an Iron Man match at Backlash. But tonight, Jamie McDonough meets the Viper, Randy Orton, one on one. And I'm told that this match, no interference. No one can get involved. No Cody, no Seth, nobody. There will be severe consequences that if that's the case. But no doubt this man, look at the serve some consequences here tonight. 
Here comes the WWE Champion. Here comes Randy Orton. And his opponent, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. The WWE Champion, the Apex Predator. A man who's been in the game for 20 years. The youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24 in 2004 when he won the world title in my hometown of Toronto. And then only what, three years later, went on to win his first WWE championship from John Cena at No Mercy. 2007 Chicago and over the years Orton has been through it all battles with Triple H battles with The Undertaker with Edge Roman Reigns even the Usos at Hell in the Cell Survivor Series to then win the Rumble beat Balor at WrestleMania to walk in tonight as champion we've heard what Orton said earlier tonight against Seth Rollins He's going to RKO Rollins and walk out as champion. They're going to send a message to J.D. McDonough here tonight. But J.D. they're going to send a message of his own to Cody Rhodes to Randy Orton here tonight. The match began right at the gate with that Spanish fly to J.D. And now they're going to work on that left leg. Both men have something to prove here tonight. But they're not going to lose a step heading towards Backlash this Sunday. Kick to the midsection there. There's JD now. In a bad position. Randy Orton got him up. Snake eyes. Orton able to plant JD there. And now Randy Orton going to work. And now look at JD turning around. Able to turn it around to JD there. And now, ooh, big kick to the midsection. But a shot off the shot and a drop kick. Count of two by the referee is both men on the outside. JD McDonough, the United States champion. Taking it towards the Viper here. As McDonough, they're gonna get back in the ring, and so does Orton. And oh, headbutt, could it be? Devlin side in the early going of the match. Devlin side, we're at the gate. Orton down, no, kicked out of two. Holy. It's Randy Orton trying to get up to his feet, trying to regroup. But JD again on the attack. I used this uh, analogy earlier, it's like Shark. Infested water with blood. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Inside cradle, but Orton unable to keep JD down for the three. And big drop kick there. Big drop kick by JD. And I got him up. No, counter. DDT. DDT counter by Randy Orton. And now Randy, bell to belly suplex. And now the Viper sends him into the corner with a wicked Lariat. Orton in control in this matchup. No more commercial breaks in this match for the night, actually. As look at Orton, look at this. Takes him down, inverted Boston Crab. What a unique hold here by Randy. But oh, JD McDonough able to counter, able to sweep the leg. And now you JD! Rolling through and then a double foot stop for good measure. Shot to the mid section there. For Randy Orton. Got him. Maybe Randy Orton could be trapped. For all we know, the WWE title could end up back on SmackDown. And oh, power slam. Power slam by Randy Orton. And now the Viper measuring JD for the form to the face. Orton got him. 
T-Bone suplex. That's the WWE Champion. Again, in control in this champion versus champion match. That short arm closed on. As Randy Orton got McDonough onto the middle rope. Orton with that Viper dripping DDT. As Randy Orton feels that the end is near for the United States Champion. And where is he going? Uh, 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 oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, Randy. This is a bit too much. Orton! Orton with a punt to the skull on the McDonough. Oh, and McDonough got the bottom rope. J.D. McDonough somehow landed his hand on the bottom rope after getting punted in the skull by Orton. Ooh. Randy Orton. Oh my God. The stomping on the hand of McDonough. At this point, Orton's got to be pissed. He just kicked him in the skull, and yet he's still able to continue. Maybe that was out of instinct. I don't even know. But this match rolls on here tonight on Raw. It's all about who's the better champion. Who will go in the back of with better momentum. Who will not lose a step? That's what it's all about between these two. High stakes in this match. Who will be able to set the toe in the backlash this Sunday here tonight? DDT by Orton. And now again, got him. Scoops, no, counter, counter, DDT. McDonald with a DDT counter. And I've got him here. Up and down. That side, Yurinagi slam, and Orton kicks out at one. And JD McDonough on the fly. McDonough able to fly. Tope saw a seat on Orton. Yeah, so sending Randy Orton crash and burn. Count of four. McDonough in the corner. Begging on to bring it. Oh! Caught him with a spin kick! Caught him with a spin kick to McDonough! He gets the champion! Hit oh, Orton kicked out of two! Orton was able to kick out of two. What a main event live on Raw. Heading towards backlash. Got him up. Orton able to counter into a DDT. And now Randy. Got McDonough onto the middle rope. Once again, that draping DD tape. This could be it. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. Randy, no, blocks it, blocks it. Oh, we're gonna block that one as well. Orton blocked. That neckbreaker attempt from McDonough, as right after McDonough was able to counter the RKO. And a standing moonsault. What will it take either man, what will it take for either man to stay down? I mean, I don't think we're gonna get, we're gonna get an answer at this point. Back and forth, and on McDonough with an abdominal stretch on to Orton. Abdominal stretch on the Randy Orton here. Try to stretch him out, but Orton able to counter. And now Orton just pounding away. Oh my god. Oh, McDonough! McDonough with a roll through! With a roll up! He got him! He got him! Oh my god! He almost had him. He almost had Orton there. 
Could you imagine the confidence J.D. McDonough will have if he defeats Orin here tonight? Heading towards Backlash against Cody Rhodes. Flying form by McDonough. Headbutt. You know what's coming. Devil inside! Devil inside, but that's not enough, says J.D. McDonough. We're going to finish the job. Can he get him? Can he get him? Plants him! Tina McDonough got it down! Randy Orton kicks out of two! You gotta be kidding me! And McDonough look at the flight! Oh my god! Letting him crush and burn this Orton! Oh my god! Orton just let him crash and burn! After that Tobey Suicida attempt! And a Orton! Measuring McDonough! Oh. Those kicks in an hilarious! But McDonough looking to fight back despite the cut on his face there. Side Yurinagi slam! Slamming Orton down hard! And McDonough says that's it. He's gonna finish Orton once and for all here. But can he get him? Irish him off the ropes. Ducks under. Oh, missed the elbow. He missed the elbow. There's Orton. Uh oh, Randy Orton. Close on the close line. Ducks it. Here comes Orton. Power slam. Power slam by Randy. And a Randy Orton. Got McDonough here. Orton with the DDT! Third time in this match! The DDT by Orton! And Orton picks up McDonough! Randy Orton! RKO! Randy Orton gets the win! Momentum on his side towards Backlash! Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton! Ladies and gentlemen, what a match! That was the main event. Orton proving why he is the WWE Champion as Randy Orton gets his hands on the title. Orton with momentum. And although we saw him earlier tonight, these two will meet at Backlash face to face. Orton Rollins, we're the time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't miss Backlash this Sunday.